On Eyewitness News this morning, we showed you part of part one, part one of Pat Gallen and Victoria Woodall's journey through a new escape room exhibit at the Franklin Institute. So, did they succeed? Mm. That's a big question. Our Victoria Woodall is live at the Franklin Institute with a look inside and also the big reveal. Tori. That's right, Natasha and Yuki. I know this doesn't look like space. This is the beach. Look at that. Look at that. This is the beach. All I'm missing is a pineapple. Happy uh, National Sunglasses Day, by the way, throwing that out there. Yes, this is one of the escape rooms. There are two big time escape rooms here at the Franklin Institute. And Pat Gallon and I, we had to work together for our mission to save the Derek Pitts. Kind of a big deal. It was definitely one that we had to put our thinking caps on and really think through. That's why I'm sitting in a beach chair because I'm exhausted. Let's see if we brought Derek Pitts back to 2017. System malfunction, warning, warning. Hurry, we don't have much time. Earlier on CBS3 this morning, Pat Gallon gave you a briefing of our mission to save a young Derek Pitts in the Franklin Institute's brand new escape room. An escape room is a puzzle game. Traditionally, they started off as these single rooms that you had to get out of by answering all of these clues and different puzzles. We've kind of taken it to the next level at TFI, so this has several rooms in it. It's all tech oriented, so whatever you do is going to trigger something else that's going to trigger something else. Where nothing is as it seems in this intergalactic adventure. And owls are not what they see. You'll move through a musical wormhole. Yeah. So we have to match the toes to that tone. And master control, where the air will be thick with concentration as your team will dance to seal Derek's fate of freedom. And when does the door open? We met our match in rooms of meteors and left no rock uncovered. Does it match by color? Oh, wow. The color just illuminated. Yay! While trying to beat the clock before our oxygen would run out and Derek would be a goner forever. 24 minutes left. But we were feeling focused. That's it. Cracking codes and following the signs. Then finally. Oh, my the universe is coming back again the way it's supposed to. Captain Pitts has returned safely to Earth. Thank you for your service. We were over the moon when our mission was complete. We did it. Godspeed. Is it really you, Derek? Are I'm you back? back. <laughs> Derek I made it home. back. He's so much for helping me get back. It feels great to be here. Did you have faith in us? Because we were a little nervous yeah, with ourselves. I was, a yeah, I was a little worried about you too. But you came <laughs> through. Time to head off Plutonia and party like a rock star. Yuki and Natasha. I am exhausted. I'm sure Pat Gallon is as well. But thankfully, we saved Derek Pitts. The world is good again. We are good. And if you want to try your hands on the amazing missions that they have here at the Franklin Institute, the beach opens up tomorrow. But you can get your hands on the intergalactic experience anytime. Best to play it with a large group. Just saying. That was big fun. That was. Big. I used to think walking as a child, walking through the heart was fun.